We narrowed from 13 trees to three, with the black tupelo being number one. The public uh, feedback was reviewed, discussed, and considered very positive. These trees are absolutely wonderful because they do have the tendency to live so long and to live in a wide range of conditions, whether they're soil conditions or temperature and air conditions, and they can tolerate the, the um, urban woes. We do expect them to weather very well through climate change over the years. So this one, if you'll notice behind me that it's about 100 feet tall, but it's also about 100 feet wide. And that tells us that it's just this huge crown that it has is actually providing a lot of shade for everything that's under it. Now imagine this tree and how much shade it would provide if it were in a more urban setting. You look around here and you realize what's missing from our urban environments. We have not been willing to set aside, even in the urbanity, the kind of spaces like this, they don't have to all be this big, but there's a place for this, and there needs to be a place for this in our urban environments. And when we do an assessment, and I know we've done an assessment about um, equity and racial impacts and where the trees are and where they're not, it's the exact same picture that you would get from everything else in Montgomery County, where they're not are in communities of color and where they are, are in people, places where people have the luxury of being able to afford this or, or as part of the planning. So we need to have a more equitable distribution of greenness.